Okay, we're going to start with a AP trauma skull. I know it's kind of rare for uh, general x-ray to get traumas these days, but uh, you may encounter that. Uh, we have our mannequin here in a C collar. The important thing, of course, with any trauma, if their collar has not been cleared, is that you cannot move uh, the patient. So we're going to leave the patient as is on the backboard and in the collar and we're going to get our angles uh, around the patient's position. Uh, so first, first off, we need to do our AP. Uh, the petrous ridges need to be presented uh, filling the orbits. So for that, our central ray needs to be parallel to the uh, OML. So let's uh, kind of figure out how to do this here. There's a trick I've always used that is to use the collimator light uh, the one on the side that you can kind of angle, uh, you know, line up with the bucky, you can use that uh, or this crosshair to angle to the OML. So that's all we're doing. I'm going to, at the same time, I'm going to do the, the angle and the longitudinal lock, looking at that crosshair to hopefully align that to OML. Get my light back on. Where I'm at outer campus, there's the EAM. It looks pretty good there to me. Now that I have that angle, all I need to do is center and make sure my bucky's lined up. Uh, whether you're using a portable cassette under the backboard or like how we've got the bucky here uh, available, you can use either. And remember, the central ray is the nasion for this view. Even if there's a little bit of rotation or tilt, we're not touching that. This is trauma, so we're going to leave it alone. I'm going to put my right marker down here. I'm going to line up my bucky. And I'm just going to double check that I have the top. I think that looks good. Might clip a little bit. Maybe I'll raise it up just a tiny bit. That looks good. Um, you can always shield your patient and if they are conscious you can expose on suspended respiration.